sumo deadlift versus conventional deadlift, which is more difficult. Okay, let's run through this. 60 kg. So the conventional deadlift has a more extended range of motion than the sumo deadlift, making it more challenging. Why the sumo deadlift has a shorter range of motion than the conventional deadlift, making it more manageable. So I advise to start with sumo deadlift for 90 kg. Okay, so for a targeted muscle group, the conventional deadlift targets the glute, hamstring, and lower back more than the sumo deadlift. Why the sumo deadlift targets the quads, glutes, and hamstring more than the conventional deadlift? Now let's talk about the muscle recruitment. One to OKG. So the conventional deadlift recruits more hamstring and the lower back muscles, as you can see in the video. Why the sumo deadlift is a great exercise for those with long limbs and short torso. It is also easier on the lower back since it does not require as much range of motion. One five OKG. So you can do the conventional deadlift if you have a long torso and uh, um, probably a short limb. While you can do the sumo deadlift if you want to increase your leg and hip strength, if you are looking for a more accessible lift with a shorter range of motion, and also if you have a long limb or leg and uh, probably a short torso, then the sumo deadlift is just right for you. So you can see that my glutes is on pain. One eight okay, G. And then lastly, conventional deadlift pulls a true test of strength. It's a company exercise that works on multiple muscle groups, including the hamstrings. And it's also a great exercise for increasing your grip strength because you have a grip to a barbell. While the sumo deadlift is an excellent exercise for improving hip mobility and flexibility and also for increasing lower body strength. So for me, I won't actually say this which is harder because, I mean, it works differently.